hello guys today i am going to discuss you with the topic how to define private methods in an interface and what are the uses of private method within the interface if we define let me start with the concept whereas in java 9 oracle company they have added the feature of defining private method in an interface whereas by making use of this particular private methods we can define some logic let's say if you have some particular logic which should not be overridden and uh, nobody should uh, uh, define that kind of methods in the derived classes in the sense then you just define one particular function and define the logic whatever you wanted to define it and where nobody can access that particular uh, method outside the interface when i said the word nobody can access that particular method outside the interface then what is the use of that particular private method what we have defined in the interface is what the question which will be striped whereas this is one of the important question which i will be answering in this particular video whereas now how to define that particular private method and uh, what all the terms and terminologies we can use for that particular private method and how to access that particular private method i will be explaining in this particular video with an example whereas now the first question is how to define private method let me step into the program yeah this is the program which i wanted to show you whereas i have installed uh, jdk 9 in my machine already previous videos also have shown how to set the path everything you can have a look into my particular previous videos whereas here you can see i have an interface whose name is calculator and i have one abstract method over here uh, whose name is display and i have one uh, public method whose name is add which is taking two integer parameters and that particular integer parameters will be passed to one particular function called as calc and i am passing some extra string also over here for some other identification what is that identification let me explain it over here you can see this is a private static void calc function you can see this is an interface under this i have defined private function at the same time it is static also yes you can define this particular private functions with the body at the same time even you can make it as static also i have defined it as static and here it is taking three parameters one is the string operation for identification another one is two integer parameters here based on the operation you can write extra logic also over here just to simplify the program i have written uh, just one simple condition uh, operation if the operation is add then i am performing addition and i am displaying it whereas this function as it is private i cannot access it directly so i will call this particular function and through this particular function i will be called invoking this particular functions to perform the operation let me show you how to call this particular function yes you can see i am implementing that particular calculator interface over here and uh, the abstract method whatever i have defined as abstract over here i am overriding and calculator dot add as this is also static directly with the constructor name Oh, sorry uh, directly with the interface name itself i am calling that particular function add function 10 and 20 immediately the control will get transferred to this particular add and respective result will be generated and to call this particular display function here you can see i am creating an object for this class i am calling display function immediately from here it will go to calculator interface from there the result will be generated in this way we can define a uh, private method under your interface this is what the example let me run this program okay first uh, 
java c calculator dot java got compiled java c a dot uh, java it's getting compiled now java a you can see the result is generated over here in this way you can make use of private uh, method in your interface as well as you can invoke this particular method also yes now the second question what is the use whereas use is let's say if you have some important business logic which you don't want to expose to your particular customers but if they want to use that particular logic indirectly indirectly in the sense if they want to use this function nobody can call this function directly through some functions which is public i'm making use where i'm exposing the logic indirectly through this add method to my customer let's assume that a is my customer where they can call add function through the add function they are using it they can reuse how many times they want let them use it but they will not get to know what is the logic behind that in that way if you need to hide the logic from your customers then this will be the best option reusability will be increased as well as security also will be increased for that particular use as a sake only in java 9 oracle corporation people they have introduced this particular private methods that is what i have uh, understood whereas if you have found anything extra apart from whatever i have said related to private methods in java 9 please post a comment below thank you for watching